Howdy y'all, welcome back to another Two Two Outdoors episode. My name's Aiden. Today, we're going on a purely bass fishing trip. We're going back with Kalen and his dad. You know, I, I started Two for Two Outdoors with Kalen, good buddy of mine. Anyways, we're going fishing with them on the Blanco River. Uh, kayak fishing, got that loaded up. Um, I am taking my little Abu Garcia Black Max and a little ultralight for finesse. And my dad's taking his ultra finesse fly fishing rod. How you going there, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, that's what we're doing, going fishing today. And I guess I'll see you at the put-in place. All right, y'all. We finally got to the put-in spot. Got the kayaks right there. Kellen's on the water. Oh. Yeah, the tackle boxes and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put in, start fishing. All right, boys and girls, we are out on the water. Just enjoying this nice day. Kellen, do you have a time check? Dad, do you know what time? It is 3.45. 3.45 p.m. out on the water. Oh, that's not good. Hoping to catch some reaction bites. Y'all just stay tuned. Alright folks, so here's y'all's fishing tip of the day. So if you're got new water and it's kind of clear and windy and there's not a lot of if it's clear and windy and there's not a lot of grass and vegetation a spinnerbait is a really nice presentation to go with because it'll elicit that re reaction strike from largies and especially during the pre-spawn catch some big girls that's what you want so there's y'all's fishing tip of the day that is a nice bass bro that is at least a three pounder all right boys this is a nice rapid it doesn't seem like much on video but we're gonna full send this oh, put you in right there or something good. all right full sand boys Oh, that was a sweet rapid. Sweet Full rapid. Send, Kalen. Yeah! Oh, Mr. Kyle just got hooked up, but he lost it. You know what? I lost it. I got it hooked on that damn fur cord. Oh, no. It's about a pound and a half. Hey, that's not an awful fish. Nice, nice round one. A bass. A really chubby one. And that, man, he devoured it. Popped the crap out of it. Go for it. Wait, I want to get a good cast out of 
open up the house. Predator fish. Try to get into it. <laughs> it must have been like a perch or something because it's pretty shallow. <sighs> could have had a fish. Sure. Sure. It's almost it's as deep as that one where I got that one. All right, let me get out of your way. Here. Oh, it's all right. Pretty right there. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Your daddy already? Yeah, he scooted down there. Yeah. Oh, that was a really awful cast. Pretty shallow. Yeah. I'll make one more cast. I, don't think I changed my mind. No. Oh, sorry. Oh. There's nothing, nothing gonna happen right here. This is shallow. Yeah. Maybe right there. Yeah. I'll save my energy for a better looking spot. Make your cast, Kalen. He's small, though. I didn't even. F I set the hook set, and I'm like, oh, I missed it. What? Oh, that's not an awful fish. What's that? Like a. Oh, he came off. Oh, there you go, little buddy. No, no, I, I touched him. I touched him with my hand. I touched that one with my boat. <laughs> Only if your boat was an extension of your body. Then that might have counted. I count that as a catch. Bro, I think we might have found the honey hole. I just saw... Well, I'm not seeing fish, so. Got one. Oh, Mr. Kyle got one. He's on the board. Oh, crap. Did you touch it? I bounced him off the tip of my boat again. <laughs> there it is. Oh, my God, it is. Look at that. Yeah. I want one of y'all to catch that sun bug. Hey, I think that's my first fish on this specific crankbait. Wait a second. Hold on. Um, I think that was my first ever crankbait fish. I don't. I barely use crankbaits, man. I never use crankbaits, and I think that was my first ever crankbait fish. Full send it, Kalen. Full send it, Kalen. Oh no, I did not full send it, Aiden. All right, boys, second fish for me of the day. This is a tiny little, like a six, seven inch bass. Tiny bass. Uh, see what it's been eating. Definitely not been eating craws. That was a really bad voice crack. Um, first cast in this spot. Uh, little fish. All right. See you later, big guy. All right. Yeah, that's on to like the next a big bit. perch. I got hit. Dude, with these hooks, they're like a little bit rusty. Oh, God. Like a... Did you see that amazing cast? All right, guys. So, <laughs> I figured I'd give you an update. I haven't filmed for a while. Maybe 45 minutes I haven't filmed. We are in the dark. We're still a good ways away from our house. We really don't really have any idea where we are. 
But we've been dragging our kayaks for about a half mile now. Just in shallow water, it is completely dark. This is a trip to remember. If, uh, if y'all haven't slapped, smashed that like button already, I think that our excursion right now, traipsing through the dark with kayaks and fishing gear, having no idea where we are, deserves a like. So, smash that like button, y'all. If you haven't already subscribed, this year we are on the road to 200 subscribers. So, y'all be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Oh Lord, this is no joke. This is a no joke paddle. Oh Lord. All right, I might die, I don't, I might not. Oh God. This is no joke. Everyone's struggling. Oh Lord. It's pitch black also. I'm not sure if y'all can see anything. Y'all probably can't. I can't see anything. But yeah, this is it's something. I'll see you in one of two places. I'll see y'all back at our house. Or I'll see y'all in the cemetery. I think this is gonna go in the, pay the, in the playlist of Kaylin and Aiden not being smart. <laughs> I think it's gonna fall into that category. So, with that said, see y'all on the other side. Yeah.